This is Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon the rock, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon the rock. Call Halal Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well. Peace and salutation to the whole elect that are scattered abroad, shall warn. All right. Um, the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, say, you know, you're a smart person if you do what he say. Okay. Um, the ones that are in this truth knows the will of the Lord, you know. And when you trust in the Lord and believe in the Lord, there's nothing that's going to waver your faith because we know that the Most High is not a man that he shall lie. And on top of that, we know he is in control of all things. And if you know, and if you didn't know that these scriptures, you know, it's, it's life and man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Most High. Okay. You know, the um most high gave us the cheat codes to um to life, you know, in this Bible, this King James Bible. But um verse twenty six and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Uh, and that's what you see in this picture here, man. This house was built upon sand. It wasn't built upon upon rock, concrete, or stone. All right? But, hey, you're a foolish person if, if you don't want the cheats. If you don't want the cheat codes to life, man. You know, but Jake hard-headed. You know, Jake want to do what they want to do. Now you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are lost, and you don't know what to believe, you know. And if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything, man. Esau say, your God look like them, and you believe it, but that's not in the scripture. Hey, this devil being faking um, the Lord's return so much, it got you Jake's, you know, turn to atheist, man. The Lord is going to destroy y'all for that. The Lord is on his way. All right. Stop believing these heathens and non-believers, man. Because that's a ride you don't want to miss, man. And from now, we're going to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 18. For through him, we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. All right. And that's it's, um that's your Howard shot, man. All right. Um, verse 19. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and the household of the Most High, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Yahweh Mashiach himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple, so like into a holy temple in the Lord. In whom ye also are built together for an habitation of the Most High through the Spirit. Right, man. The Lord dwell in us. You know, not these churches, man. They ain't feeding your spirit with the right nutrients. You know, they just want the money, baby. You know, they don't care about your utilities, you know, your your, your rent. You know, they don't care about how you're going to eat, man. You know, but they're just set up, you know, to keep you dumb to the fact that the Lord's men are out here prophesying against this wicked place, man. Like we was doing back in the ancient days, man. You know, Lord's willing, I'm part of that number, man. You know, we we know you heard of us, you know. We we know, you know, we, what, what we're saying, you know, is, you know, it make a hell of a lot of sense. You know, but... Y'all, y'all go run back to your pastor asking questions, you know, like you're going to get the truth, you know, maybe even get charged for it. Well, if you're going to do that, hey, 
that's about the mark of the beast. You know, Jacob's trouble or what the law look like. You know, we're grounded in this truth through your how about Shemmy Hawkshot, not Jesus, man. All right, from there, we're going to get Psalms. Chapter 55, verse 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. All right. And we, you know, we, we, we pray in the right names. You know, I have faith the Lord is going to come through, man. You know, the, the media is messing with Cassidy, you know, trying to um, demonize him for a lack of a better word because he started to mention the true name of our Savior, man, Yahweh But if he about his money, you know, and, and the fame like the elites think he is, he going to pull a Nick Cannon, man, saying he apologized and need to be re-educated. You know, but uh, we go James one and eight. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, and this self-explanatory. You know, hey, don't be double-minded, man. After you hear this truth from the Lord's men out here prophesying, specifically from GMS, man, because the other Israelite camps then sold out too, and they don't all teach the same true doctrine, man. That's why some of y'all camp hop you know back and forth trying to listen to everybody and getting lost in the sauce because y'all don't know who to believe and likewise in christianity too man this is isaiah chapter 33 verse 6 and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation the fear of yahweh is his treasure wisdom begins with fearing the lord all right because if you fear him, you would do what he say. But Christianity say he all love. But when he closed the doors to this grace period, then you'll know who was telling the truth while running for your life, man. But these scriptures broken down the right way will keep you together in these evil times that's fastly approaching, man. All right, but I'm ending it off right there. Lord willing, you know I made my point. And then let's edify until you all want to say shalom.